Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Mac Marla and Christopher. We are joined today by Althalus from Section 31. Hello, Althalus. Hello, Christopher. Thank you for inviting me on. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm excited to actually be over in your, uh, what was a little alliance until, of course, you lowered your metal count and, uh, in order to allow me in, and now I see that you're extremely active. you got tons of members. I don't know what your problem is. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's all it took, right? That's all it took was an invite. <laughs> um, That's it. One, man, one yourself, and then bump ten others. Ta -da. Yeah, here we go. Now, what yeah. I would what I would like to think is your claim to fame is that you guys have, you said you have three couples that are in there. Uh, yes, we do. Yes, uh, we have uh, Goddess and GP. We have Odinette and Manu, and then there's myself and Hellraiser. Oh, that's, so, yeah. I think that's amazing. How long have you been playing the game? I've been playing now since probably the start of May last year. I've got screenshots going back that far anyway. Really? So not too far after the iOS launch, I think. So yeah. realistically, you'd, you'd have quite a time-lapse video to uh, put together for us at some point. Is that right? <laughs> uh, yeah, there are probably a few gaps uh, in between that, but yeah, I've got quite a few screenshots of bases I fancied over the years. The changes in the appearances of troops is quite something to notice as you go back in time. That is very uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been through a good few alliances over over time. And now I wound up as leader of Section Thirty One and trying to make our way into the game. By make your way into the game, what's the goal? What do you guys want to do? Have fun with mates, to be honest. Ah, <laughs> I think that's a very good goal. A 169 yeah. global. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's taken a bit of time to get there. Now, I but... apologize for uh, kind of kiboshing that halfway as a result of you lowering your metal count, but how many of there are you? Uh, there are roughly around 30 of us at the moment. Uh, as I say, we, we've had a little bit of a growth spurt just. <laughs> okay. But yeah, roughly around 30 workers and 20 of us, uh, 20 of us active in our current war. So, uh, you know, we're only 11 days old here at Section 31, so... Oh, so you're brand, have... brand new. Sorry? I said you, you guys are brand, brand new. That's excellent. Oh, yes, yes. Brand, brand new. We are a fledgling, a fledgling troop. But, I mean, the core of us is a, a very experienced car, as you can see, judging, through, looking through the levels in our alliance. So, uh, well, I'm just looking at the metal count, even. Able. What's that, sorry? I said, I'm just looking at the metal count, even. You got some, uh, yeah. the majority of you guys are, are fairly high. The top four, anyways, are fairly high. Not that metal count is a direct indication of uh, tenure, but even the levels, you know, 175, 160, 171. <laughs> So that's that's looking to get up there. It, it gave us a solid call to start with. It's got to be said. <laughs> we had a, we had a, an advantage over many other fledgling alliances. We started out with a, a strong group of globals and we're just looking to add people from there. People who want to have fun. Absolutely. And how often are you intending on warring? Oh, uh, pretty much back to back. Back to back, okay. Yeah. So you're looking for very active players. Uh, that would be that would be the plan. Yes, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not worried if somebody wants to opt out of war, have a break, and so forth. That's no problem. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm looking to get chatty people involved. In. Oh, Phallus. Tell us again. I I I, I want to hear the story. I want it actually on record. Where is the name Althalus from? Because <laughs> it is such a unique <laughs> name, and I, I really do. I love it. it uh, as I said, it comes from a uh, David Eddings book. It was a standalone novel he did. I think it's called The Redemption of Althalus. Uh, about a thief who redeems himself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was a, a free name at the time. So, yeah, I went with that. Whereas the message shows Hellraiser. She oh. said that she wanted to be frightening in game. <laughs> uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully that uh, stick quite so much. That nickname only remains in game. We hope. <laughs> it does indeed. Yes, it does indeed. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to make that to half as well. <laughs> well, that's why they call them better halves, right? It is indeed. It is indeed. So, so you've been yeah, playing for quite some time. Uh, as I said, by having a right playing the game with me and that, it's, it's, it's a good thing to share between us. Help each other out. I've always got someone to call on for allies if I'm desperate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I concur. <laughs> it, it's nice having someone in the same house to uh, donate and, uh, you know, even as far as like just going over, like we always go over our war strategies together and, um, you know. Kind of oh, I'm, things I'm, up. Banned. <laughs> I'm banned from watching her war attacks. Apparently I put too much pressure on looking over her shoulder. So. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can relate to that actually. That sounds very familiar. <laughs> it's nice actually talking to somebody that has a, has a spouse that plays as well, because uh, there's not a lot of relational value, I don't think, out there. So it's, I think that's fa fantastic that there's three couples there. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something we're pleased with, and uh, you know, uh, I think the one of the things about this game is over time you, you can develop friendships. You know, I mean. The, <laughs> Uh, many of the people in my alliance, the people I've been friends with over the over the long years. Uh, now, for example, I've played other games with uh, some of the others we've met up. I've like, been friends now, oof, gosh, nearly a year going on. So I think it's, it's, it's good for that sort of thing. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm scanning over your war bases right now, and I'm looking at uh, Desi with the level 30 generals. Uh, just a little bit of dedication yes. there, eh? Uh, yeah, De Desi, Desi's got some hitting power, it's got to be said. Oh. Desi and Shaylu uh, have definitely got some hitting power on them. Uh, and to be fair, though, uh, any, of the, any of the globals on our team, uh, we, I would say, are competent enough to five-star pretty much any base, which any good global should be able to do anyway. Really. That is unreal. But, yeah, yeah, I have to give a shout out to uh, to Shiloh. The, the guy is an absolute beast. <laughs> I think I think every alliance that I've met has at least one person that they boast is a, is an absolute beast. We've got one um, over in the Outlaws. It's uh, pretty much the same. So, and your I mean, like even looking at your war base, um, you're fairly up there and looking fairly stock, and you've got some upgrades on the go as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to uh, to get my level eight tank depot online, get, media, get some medium tanks out on defense, and with this event that's on the go at the moment, if I can, I'll try and get that upgraded to level nine as well, get those battle tanks on the way. And you guys seem to have a lot of war coalitions. Is that something you pushed, or is that something that just kind of came naturally together? Uh, it was something that kind of came naturally together, to be honest. I mean... The uh, getting the goods together for them can be a challenge at times, can't it? With the with the way the game is structured. But yeah, if uh, it's you're right, they can be extremely effective in the coalitions. Which one's your favourite? <sighs> ah, let me have a think. Uh, probably one I've got on the go right now. So that would be yeah, it. Would be the Mongols one. The yeah, right. I love to, I love to carry the, uh, the artillery in with me. Oh yes, absolutely. Yes. Now, how's about the, uh, the actual War Wonders? Like, I noticed that you guys, as well, complemented with the uh, coalitions. You guys have a lot of what I would say are War Wonders. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, as you go, as you travel along in the game, you you begin to orient and you focus in certain directions anyway. So, uh, um, I think it's fair to say some of our players have lined next to his pocket over the years with the odd little uh, spend here uh, and there on other sales. Very so, good. Now, as far as stacking, are you aware of what stacking is? I am aware of what stacking is, yeah. Oh, sandbagging, as you might call it. Sandbagging, stacking. Have you had any experience with it? Uh, yes, yes. In a, in a previous alliance, it was flirted with briefly, uh, okay. but it doesn't really lead to to uh, fun war, should we say? 
And I've had that's a key part of the game. I can take a loss as long as I know that it's been a really good battle. Absolutely. I yeah. think that's a great attitude to have. Yeah. Uh, like you said, the, the fun is the fun is in the war itself. You know, rather I don't need to shout about it. I just need to enjoy it. And as I say, by playing friends, building these relationships up through the alliance, if we get to do that. Absolutely. Now, is there anything that you felt that you wanted to get out there as far as uh, as far as attracting new people through the stream here? Uh, <laughs> no, well, the chief message is section 31 is recruiting. We're uh, doing rather nicely for an 11-day-old alliance. You know, we've managed to win our first four wars. <laughs> four wars. Yeah, come join us. Wow. Yeah. Marla, oh, did you want on, to pick his brain? It's far from an impressive tally here at the moment, but you've got to start somewhere and build up, haven't you? I think that's exactly it. It looks like you guys have got a fantastic core. Um, I really appreciate you coming coming on the stream here and uh, and giving us a, your uh, your two bits. The last question I have: mm -hmm. What exactly is a spot of tea? What exactly is a stop of tea? A spot of tea. <laughs> so if somebody says, "Can I have a spot of tea?" How much is it? A spot of tea, oof, let me have a think now. You're probably talking about £2.50 for 40 tea bags. <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh, uh, but, I mean, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm not a traditional tea drinking big Brit. I prefer a soft drink myself or maybe something <laughs> a little stronger. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair and enough. I probably don't have that nice pushy English accent and a lot of the uh, listeners might be used to. I think you've got a great accent. I'm from Nova Scotia, so as a result, everybody's got an accent. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's cool, mate. That's, that's cool. cool. Uh, well, I really appreciate you bringing us on anyway. Oh, you're you're very welcome. I will throw it up on uh, on YouTube for you guys. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, if you don't mind, my uh, I'll probably do a couple of uh, random attacks here, hanging out with my little uh, little tiny account for a little bit here. Uh, but again, thank you very much for coming on, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you again soon. More than welcome. Cheers, Chris. Thank you very much. Cheers.